Hey guys, it's Oz with Wild Flat Outdoors. It's been a while and I'm sorry about that. I'll give you a little quick fishing report and uh, after that I wanna kinda go through some uh, gear that I've made that I make here in the shop. Um, welding, what I've done. My boat is a, is a uh, project. It's uh, in progress all the time. I'm always, always looking to uh, make it better, more uh, proficient, so right now we've been fishing i just haven't had time to video i get a couple hours and then i go so the fish or uh, the big fish are roaming in five to nine foot of water and when i say big fish anything over 10 inches um, you may find a couple up on some brush piles in that five to nine foot of water if you know where those five to nine foot of water brush piles are pretty much any points on smithville lake the mdc has put brush piles out on those points um, if you're going for numbers, or what I like to call going to the grocery store, is um, anywhere from 12 to 15 foot brush piles, and you're going to catch a lot of numbers, a lot of eights and nines, and you know some of those eights are going to be those black crappie that are thicker than the white crappie. So that's kind of the fish report, so stay tuned and we'll walk through my boat and uh, show you what, what I have and how I use it. Thanks guys. All right, guys, I've had a lot of people ask me, hey, what kind of boat you're using? Uh, can you go through a video of how it's set up? Um, we're just trying to get some ideas. So I'm running a 2016 Havoc DB. It's a 1756. And um, it's got a 60 horse Merc with the tiller. I'm running a um, CMC uh, PL65 jack plate. I got a Bimini top installed right now. Um, pretty straightforward. I mean, I got a pretty clean back area. I run a one starter battery, a fuel water separator, all my relays and everything for the um, jack plater back here, uh, bilge pump, aerator, all that stuff. Um, then I run a switch panel that has my light bar, depth finder, bilge, aerator, interior lights, and running lights. For stern light, I run a portable uh, max out light. So when I duck hunt, because this boat gets converted over to duck hunting from fishing, if I hit a tree or something or brush, it'll fold back. I broke way too many of the ones that slide in. So if you're looking for a good sturdy, I mean, it's it's stout. It's fiberglass rod with the LEDs. Um, I do have an aerator in this boat. It's uninsulated, so um, I have to watch out when I'm fishing in tournaments or anything like that. I got to make sure I get uh, ice in there. I got to cover up the live well because the sun will beat on that aluminum. Um, I have storage in both of these pod seats. I, I run a battery, um, onboard battery charger, three bank in that one. And it's a Pro Mariner. I think it's a 20 amper. And here's kind of a, just open it up. Nothing's in there right now. I usually keep my life jackets. Um, this boat does have a T-rail system. And all the stuff that I have on this, I've pretty much built myself except for that grab bar. Um, at the time, I didn't have a pipe bender. Now I do, so I can, I can actually build my own uh, grab bars. My uh, jack plate switch is up here, up and down. So I can run shallow and skinny water. Get that motor running high RPMs. Um, I'm running a 93 SV Garmin. As you can see, I made my own mount. Um, got my GoPro mount on here. And then it just bolts in and then it kicks over. So I have that nice view from when I'm sitting on my seat right here. Got my uh, rod shelf. I do have a rod locker, but I don't usually put rods in there. I keep uh, some other stuff and I'll go through that, but mostly I keep my rods here and they stay when I'm traveling long distances or anything like that, they're good. Um, I got a couple of grab bars that I built um, for this. They were painted black, but over time just chipped away and I've just kind of just said heck with it. Um, as you can see, this boat does get used. 
um, a lot. I use two chairs on pedestals um, that sit here when I'm fishing with a buddy. And um, that's what causes all this mark where it just sits there and rubs. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, we'll go to my live scope pole. Um, it is aluminum pipe. I used a, I think that's a three quarter inch um, 90 with some stainless steel hardware. A bicycle handle off of eBay, which is about wore out. It's sticky, so I need to get a new one of those. Um, I, I use a locking collar so it slides up and down. So if a stump on Smithville, you know that you know them stumps, you can lift that up and clear that before you, if not, it will bend um, and move out of the way. But then I'm using a Scott ball mount, ball ram, because they are cheaper. And then I took two U-bolts to hold that sleeve on inexpensive i think i have maybe 50 bucks wrapped up in it well i take that back with prices now these days i built this two years ago or three years ago um i was using like a trolling motor um handle that was broke and it just clamped on the side but i got tired of that so i made a track system so if you guys have the 45 degree t-tracks um, and you guys need mounts, I can make the mounts for you guys and I can help you out. Um, but that's a Scott mount, I think uh, on eBay or Amazon, I think I paid 35 bucks for that or 25, it was 25 bucks for this. And then I went to metal by the foot in Kansas city or rock Ridge steel in, um, Elwood, Kansas, and was able to pick up some of the scrap aluminum, um, for next to nothing. So I'd probably say, Roundabout, I got $75 wrapped up in it. Uh, locking collar, U-bolts from uh, Home Depot, Menards, uh, just to hold that. Uh, moving to the to the tip, I run a uh, Backwater, um, Backwater Customs light housing. It has your nav lights in it, but I, I, I mean, they're hooked up, but I also have my shark eyes. I use uh, shark eyes, LED shark eyes. I love them. They're bright. They work. I use this a lot when I'm running the river, the Missouri River, duck hunting and stuff like that. I'm running an Altera, 80 pound, I don't know, is it 48 or 52 or 54 inch? Um, so when I fish with uh, Sam, who's been in my videos before, we run two live scopes. I run the one on the right, right here, and that's my 126 Ultra. And then he runs a 1242, I do believe. It's got the dial on it and everything else. And then he mounts his live scope pole right here. So if we're tournament fishing or we're going out to the grocery store, I'm able to work the right side of the boat and he's able to work the left side. All right, so moving up to the front storage up here, I have my two batteries for my trolling motor and my black box for my live scope. And then I have a 12 gallon fuel cell that I built out of aluminum here. And then the line runs underneath the floor to the back to the motor, to my fuel water separator and then to my motor. So it's pretty basic. Over there, I do have some fishing equipment and stuff like that, but I try to keep most of my fishing gear unless i have a tote out of this because of the spillage of fuel let me climb up in the boat and show you guys what's in my kind of my rod box gun box or whatever so what i keep in here is of course for my rain gear cheap rain gear nothing too crazy 
Um, plenty of sunscreen. Uh, when we're out on the water, I think I got another can there. Got some Staybill. I got some coaling tags that I like. I'm going to talk about in another video. I got two. I run two nets. I got this collapsible Fraybill net. It's pretty handy. And then I have another hog net. And this thing's huge. It's almost too big. But I'll do another video on it. Always got to have some better bait. Um, also some G-Juice. Sorry, I thought that was stable, but I run some G-Juice in my um, live well when I'm fishing to keep them alive if we're doing a tournament. Um, got to have some bug spray, a fire extinguisher, a throwable. Here's the original pier tie-off what it started out to be and what it's evolved to, to the nice foam um, puck, pod, ball thing, carabiner. So that was the old crude, crude thing. Um, let's see. I do have like a mooring pole. I got, if we fish underneath the bridge, I got the green LED lights that clip onto the light or the battery. Um, it's pretty basic stuff, of course, whistle, extra stuff that you, fuses that you may need for your boat when you're fishing if something happens. So that's all that's in that. Um, let's see. Oh, my battery charger. What I wanted, or on, on board. Let me get this out of the way and get this opened up. So what I run is a three bank. Pro Mariner, unfortunately I don't think it's getting too dark, but it's a Pro Sport Plus 20. So this thing charges all three batteries on board. It's a great, I mean it's not the most expensive, but it's not the cheapest onboard battery charger. Great, hands down. I've had two of them, both on both of my boats best battery charger I've owned um, for the money close close that up sorry guys it's probably a little loud but that's kind of the overview of my boat it's a havoc it's tan so here soon when I do that giveaway and you guys are asking hey what kind of boat are you driving well if you haven't watched enough of my videos and know that it's tan and it's a 60 horse and it's the only havoc in the area and it's got lime green on the side you're missing out missing out uh, so there's the other storage there's the other battery got my got my foot pedal down in there got my rope and got some spare weights tackle stuff like that for crappie and walleye fishing Hopefully here soon, I'll do a couple video, other videos on some gear that I've bought and I've used. And again, if you guys could like, subscribe, follow, share, all that stuff, it helps us out and helps all the other local bait companies out. Also remember, um, Junior's Jigs, AAFC, Burton's Bait and Tackle, Outlaw Crappie Rods, you know, if you guys want good quality products and and good local stuff, hit them up. And again, I appreciate the support. So that was an overview of my boat. As you can see in the background, it got a little too dark and um, there's not much more to film besides I, I have a transducer mount on the back of the boat that I welded on. So there's no bolts through the transom. If anybody has any questions about the live scope pole that I built, parts list and everything else, I will get that to you, message me. Um, you can text me on my number or call me. Um, calls, I usually just let it go to the voicemail. But if you text me and say, hey, this is so-and-so, I got questions about your live scope pole, I will help you out. Uh, if anybody needs any fabrication done for their boat, um, aluminum-wise or steel, I can do that for you guys also. Um, pretty much it's a flat rate deal unless it's a big project of welding a, um, a whole bunch of rivets and stuff like that, then that's an hourly rate. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, hit us up. I do. We appreciate your guys' support, 
And the more likes and follows and shares that you guys give us shows us that you guys like the content. If you guys have any um, any any suggestions on content, let me know. Send me a message um, to Facebook or through YouTube, anything like that, and give me some ideas, and I will do it. Um, most of the equipment that I use, I buy, um, minus the jigs, and so fishing poles i you know i strum up a little bit of cash i'll go buy a new pole i'll test it out see how it works as you can see in my other video when i tested that outlaw crappie poles hey um that was my own cash that's my own money so if you guys have any ideas or any suggestions let us know and we'll try to get it to you guys so i appreciate your support